Cryonics. It's the art of freezing a dead body that got sick and died and holding it until you find a way to cure it. Now, this could be Mrs. Green, all right? Or that could be Zebra Davis, and this could be, I don't know, this could be a disco, and these people are coming back to dance in a minute. All I know is it's cryonics, and you're going to find out more next. <laughs> Tonight, I got a real live one for you, all right? I'm, well, maybe a dead one. Actually, one of my guests would like to have his head cut off. Another performed open-heart surgery at the age of 16. Most of these guys think they can freeze sick bodies for years, hundreds of years, as a matter of fact, if need be, until cures are found. And then bring back these sick, frozen Dairy Queen bodies to life, all right? You believe that? Well, let's me... Let's meet our first frozen head case, Dr. Abby Ben Abraham, president of the American Cryonic Society. Come on. <laughs> Dr. Uh, Abraham, tell me in 50 words or less what exactly is cryonics and what you hope to do with it. Cryonics is considered freezing the human body in liquid nitrogen, which is minus 320 degrees. Uh, uh, Fahrenheit with the hope of bringing that body back to life sometime in the future when medical technology will have advanced to that level. All right, so we have found in this century frozen dinosaurs, behemoths in the Arctic uh, area that are perfectly preserved in glaciers and ice. Why then if these were, and they say they were instantly frozen within seconds, some of them have food that they were chewing still in the middle of their throat before it had dropped all the way in, indicating it was a matter of seconds when they were frozen. Why can't we bring these animals back to life? Well, we might. Sometime in the future, if we'll possess the technology. At but we present, have to possess the technology to cure the illness or to bring them back to life. Which? Both technologies. Uh, when people are frozen, they all have died from a disease that is incurable today. We are well, hoping not necessarily that those behemoths, though. They just died from being frozen. They, they died from a disease of aging, or they died from no, something. No, no, sir. No, sir. Oh, they, they were walking along, eating, <laughs> eating some crap, right? All of a sudden, big ice wave, they're dead, frozen. Now, they had no illness other than the fact that they were stupid and walked in the cold, right? Well, if they were smarter, they would have been frozen in liquid nitrogen. The outside temperatures are not that cold, and therefore they were not preserved. Liquid nitrogen Sir, is so they cold. Were preserved. They are still completely preserved some two million years later. That's right, but they've biologically died. Their cells have de degenerated and deteriorated. At this point, we don't know how to bring them back to life. Right. What we are doing is freezing uh, tissues and cells and organs and whole bodies at such cold temperatures. And all experts in the field agree that at minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, there is so little molecular motion that decay is essentially non-existent oh. and we can come back to those tissues or bodies in a hundred years from now and the aging process will have been stopped all right how many years do you think it's going to be before we are freezing and i believe you call it reanimating bodies we don't say that people die they become deanimated all right how long before these deanimated things become reanimated things? i'm not here to present uh, cryonics as the solution to our uh, illnesses. Uh, I am a confident uh, in science and in the human mind, and I hope that it will take us a short period of time 
10, 20, 30, 40 years. However, the beauty of the concept... In the span of history, that's very short. Yes. W the beauty of the concept is that there is no pressure of time. We are freezing people in today's techniques that are rather primitive, I admit it. There is a long way to go, but we are planning to bring them back to life. Now, if people research, are already frozen, am I correct? That's right. How with, many people are already frozen? There are 26 people worldwide. We want to bring them back with the technology of tomorrow. And tomorrow can be as long as don't, needed. Don't you have a producer of a famous television show? What was that television show? Well, uh, there, is, there are rumors that um, Walt Disney has been... Uh, no, I know he's not. He hadn't had it done. It was a, uh, All in the Family or some yeah. some show. Some producer had himself frozen, left 20 million bucks to the organization, so get frozen. I, I wish that was true. Hoping, uh, to, co hoping to come back and find his ratings were better or something? That's right. <laughs> Now, you did open-heart surgery at the age of 16, am I correct? And you were a fully accredited medical doctor at the age of 18. So you are, by all accounts, a medical genius. What, what did you operate on at 16? I started medical school when I was uh, 16 and a half and went through uh, six years of medical school in 11 months. Uh, I did my training in a hospital. Um... And I know a lot of doctors who take care of you like that's all they've had in school, too. Well, but you're apparently not one of them. Thank you. Um, I, I guess what I do now in cryonics is a product of my growing up in some way uh, faster than, than others. I always wanted to uh, deal uh, with, with the greatest of challenges in life. Dealing with one disease today, be it cancer or heart disease or AIDS, seem to be important today. But if you compare it to the range of uh, history. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a very temporary concept. Let me introduce a gentleman uh, who is the Bergen County coroner. And that would be uh, Dr. William Ober. Dr. Ober? Thank you. How we are you, sir? Let me ask you a question. We prefer the term medical examiner. Obner? Medical examiner, not oh, coroner. Oh, medical examiner. I'm sorry, sir. A medical examiner as opposed to coroner. That's right. Let me ask you a question, sir. You've just heard uh, Dr. Ben Abraham talk about the idea of cryonics. Now, has Maybe his brain been caught in some of that liquid, uh, whatever you call it. No, his brain is not frozen, but I would like to find out the specifics of the technique you propose to use, or are actually using. Well, you're a coroner, so you must be familiar with... Uh... I'm not a coroner, I'm a medical I'm examiner. I'm sorry, a medical examiner. Avi, I made the same mistake, don't worry. We are trying to halt the process of death at the clinical level. Death is not a moment, but a process, a pathophysiological process of systems shutting down that occurs over a period of time. When a person is declared dead, the coordination of the organs has ceased to exist. But the tissues, the cells, and the organs are alive, and very much so. In fact, the proof <coughs> is that uh, right now, Organs are being used for transplantation after clinical death. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to get to the body soon after clinical death, you lower the temperature my, of the you body so my rapidly. You and have not answered my question. What technique do you use? This is our technique, getting to the body right after clinical death. What uh, does right after clinical death mean? Two days, two hours, No, two no, it has to be done within minutes. Uh, the sooner, the better. Uh, they have you been, freeze the body, is that correct? You, we start the chilling process right after that. The first thing to do uh, biologically well, is man, to... man, when you croak, the chilling process starts anyhow. <laughs> we, we, have, we have to maintain blood flow and oxygenation of the blood, and then we start the chilling process. Simultaneously, we replace the blood of the patient with a blood substitute that we have developed and tested in, in animals that contains cryoprotectants. Those are chemicals such as glucose, or glycerol that uh, animals, frogs for instance, produce in the wild to prevent freezing damage to their cells. May, may I finish? Then we start lowering the body temperature to zero degrees in, oh, in dry minute. ice, wait to minus 100 degrees in uh, liquid nitrogen vapors, and to minus 196 degrees in liquid nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And at this temperature, there is very little uh, decay, and all experts agree that aging that would normally doctor, take... No, I, I'd like to ask him a question, too, that I think you probably would like to ask. What about if the good doctor and I decided we're healthy right now, knock wood, uh, want to see if your system works so uh, you can come in and kill us and do all of these things. Can you then bring us back? 
No, that is illegal because uh, you have what to... What if we made it legal? Could you bring it back? That would be interesting to try, but you see, we are... <laughs> There are hundreds what of cases of people that were brought back from clinical death up to 55 minutes from the time it occurs. Now, it's common minute. procedure. What is, Cardio this, what is this blood substitute that you insert into the vascular system? We, ins we, we use cryoprotectants such as glucose and glycerol. But do, do, they do they carry oxygen? They do not carry oxygen. No. Then if they don't carry oxygen, you have brain death within five minutes. That's not true. Exi yes, sir. I'm Jerry Artis. I'm from the uh, Cranach Society of New York. All right, sir. Okay, now, on my hand is Have a you brain... you been frozen and brought back? No. <laughs> Not yet. You look like you may have. <laughs> Please, let's hear the gentleman. Let's hear the gentleman. Wait a second, let's hear the, him. The cryonics organization I'm a member of gives us, gives us these... These are medical alert bracelets. Oh. Now, what that does, it tells it tells the uh, paramedics at a hospital if, the guys if something the happens to us, us well, they, they have to call that number there. But it tells them the the initial procedure to take if uh, if one of us deanimates. I'm not selling. That's more. One of you deanimates. Yes. To take. Now, what the first th pr the first thing they do the first thing they do is they put heparin into the body to stop the blood from coagulating. Put heparin in. Then, right. then you, you maintain the body on a hot lung resuscitating machine. Or now, wait CPR. a minute. If you inject heparin into somebody who's just died, the heparin doesn't circulate. Right, well, you didn't let me Through finish. CPR, it you circulates, do, though. You do CPR and you push the heparin, heparin in, and it circulates the heparin. That's why we then, use a thumper, Doctor. Well, gentlemen, we're going to go to the next segment, and then we'll come back to the long and short of it, all right? Another television first. A man who wants his head cut off. Now... Should your name be on this envelope? It should if you or someone you love is age 50 to 80, and it will be addressed to you if you call now for this important information. Free information about a life insurance policy designed especially for men and women age 50 to 80. Life insurance with no physical examination and no medical questions. Because of a limited benefit period, you cannot be turned down for any reason. And your premium will be $6.95 a month and will never increase. Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company wants to send you the important information in this envelope. And it's free. So if you are age 50 to 80 and thought it would be difficult to buy life insurance, shouldn't you call now? Here's the number. For free information in the mail, call 1-800-441-2626. This is a free call. 1-800-441-2626. This is Bay Ridge President Board Day celebration. This is my board day too. So you save even more. We're making history at Bay Ridge with deals only presidents can make. Over 2,000 cars available at our seven Bay Ridge showrooms. Your car, price to go, ready to roll. No one beats these deals now at your Bay Ridge family of dealers. Save at Bay Ridge President Board Day. Happy board day to you. Happy board day to me. And we deliver. We are the East Coast's biggest bedding chain. And right now, during our 4-in-1 sale, you can get a twin-size Sealy mattress, box spring, frame, and delivery, all for just $89. Full-size are only $139. And queen-size sets are just $169 with frame and delivery. Come to Hillside, leave the best to us. Hey, gang, a lot of people have been saying a lot of things about the Morton Downey Jr. show. Maybe even said I'm mean, nasty, rude, sometimes arrogant. Well, a lot of these people have only seen me on television. Now I dare them to come down here to Channel 9 
and be a part of the Morton Downey Jr. Show studio audience. To be a part of Morton Downey Studio audience, send a written request to tickets, 9 Broadcast Plaza, Sea Caucus, New Jersey, 07094. Transportation for the Morton Downey Jr. Show furnished by Quality Limousine Service. When in New Jersey, call 201-785-9071. studio tonight. We're going to introduce another guest who has joined us at home base. His name is Irving Rand, and Irving Rand is, uh, I believe, the uh, head of the East Coast branch of American Cryonics. Is that yes, correct, I am, sir? yeah. Now, as head of that organization, what do you do for ACS, and how strong is your membership on the East Coast? Well, we have a, a very small membership. I, I wouldn't say that uh, our membership over the country is strong. It's, People it's, dying to get in your organization? <laughs> no, no, they... they no, people die to get, to get into cemeteries. They don't die to get into our organization. But uh, I, I like to say what I do and, what, and how I got involved in crime. All right, if you can do that in 30 seconds. I can though. do it in, in a couple of seconds. I, right, was, I was out in California. I'm, I'm an insurance agent, and I was out there for a, a seminar on, on insurance. And I looked into cryonics, this is about five years ago, mm -hmm. and I found, well, first, I, I could tell you later what I saw when I was out there, but I would dare say that if people here found that there was a, a disease that was going to sweep the nation and they they discovered that a couple of scientists in, in, in the United States who knew about this disease were taking a certain kind of pill and they didn't know about the pill but they like to learn about the pill uh, well let's put it this way if it saved their lives I think they like okay, to, they like to know 30 about seconds it. about a pill oh, well I'd like to I'd like to say this I discovered that uh, uh, some of the top cryobiologists in the country people who work with freezing and thawing organs and, and, and thawing embryos and uh, you know there are children running around today who were once frozen embryos when you find that these scientists themselves are signed up to be frozen when they die oh, children are running it, around today who were frozen embryos uh, well that, happen, that happens to be a fact and, and I think you know it as well but uh, some of the top scientists in the country are signed up to be frozen when they well, die. There, I know there are sperm banks and things like that I, I donate to them all the time All right, and there are, <laughs> Uh, El Elvis and I do that, but uh, uh, so, so I know those can be frozen. Yeah, so I so I'm signed up myself at uh, because you sell insurance for ACS, right? Uh, I do, I do. I, well, I, is this I maybe a way of getting some new business for yourself? Uh, it could be, but I'll tell you something. I, I I became personally involved in cryonics before there ever became a connection having to do with insurance, and now well, how I, much does it cost I, for that insurance? Well. I'll tell you what the insurance policy pays. Right, the tell cost, me what it pays and what it pays for. It pays $125,000, and, mm -hmm. that, and that pays for someone to have an operation to put them in the condition that Dr. Uh, ben Abraham discussed and to put them into a, a stainless steel capsule. Uh, that's about $45,000, and then $80,000 of that go, goes into a trust fund, mm -hmm. the interest of which at $5,000, uh, at 5%, pays for ongoing maintenance indefinitely. Interest of 5%? No. We want to assume a, a modest interest. Anything that's above no, that, that of that's course. No, well, we don't, we don't. First of all, there are well, trust officers. We corporate mismanagement in today's market. No, well, the, well, the, mean, the idea, the idea, basically. Here's what I don't money. understand. Makes the, it sound how like the it's... hell can I trust someone to unfreeze me 300 years Lord from now Lord when they discover a cure? The whole discussion about money is irrelevant. The American Cryonic Society is a non profit organization. Non -profit. We are motivated by the desire to change the conventional thinking in medicine and the, cha More. the course of mankind. There is a cost involved. We're getting nothing out of it. We are signing. You get no pay? Zero payment. Zero pay. Zero payment. How do you make your money, doctor? Private sources. Private sources. Yes, but not through the American Cryonic Society. Now, I'm none a scientist. Of your money who... comes from dealing with cryonics. Zero. Zero from dealing we are, with cryonics. We are not cryonics. allowed. We I specified not. the word cryonics. Zero. Zero. Okay. Zero. 
You, sir? Two zeros. I lost money uh, uh, in cryonics. I make no money in You cryonics. made no money? No. Well, then this is very admirable. I've, I've got to ask you a question. Sure. Uh, uh, how much will you leave when you die? Well, I have a life insurance policy for my wife and children. And uh, they have, uh, I believe in life insurance, and I, and I provide people with lots of life insurance outside of cryonics. In fact, there's only, like, that's, that's not your business, but they'll, they'll be well taken care of. Uh, well, let me go to... Let me, go, let me introduce, let me introduce at Loudmouth number one, Jerry Arthas, who is director of the New York Cryonics Society. Jerry, I understand you now are with that society. And I am overjoyed to hear that you boys are setting up an emergency stabilization team. Just what the hell is an emergency stabilization? Well, I, I could have gotten into this before when, when the medical examiner was was uh, arguing that he didn't know what we were doing but there is a procedure for arresting just about all metabolism in the body after the, after the body deanimates now as well as biological the, death the main the main thing we're worried about is the brain because any damage to the rest of the body can be repaired very very probably very easily with the technology that's but going to be available. But the brain is where the problem is. The brain is like a floppy disk in a computer. That's what stores your consciousness and your memories. So we're interested in, in arresting any possible metabolism that can occur in that brain that would erase the memories. Now, it's a well-known fact that people can live The brain does much more than store memory, by the way. The, the brain is, is merely the organ in the body that does store information. That directs every other organ in the body also. Sir. Well, it... it Certain parts of the brain direct s certain parts of the body in, a, in a, an automatic fashion. That would be very simple to repair. Yeah. 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 I want to know. I want to know right now. Okay, listen. Now, I don't know how plausible all of this is in theory or in practice, but I'd like to say just one thing, and I'm going to make it brief. If all the people that they're going to reanimate are like you guys, I'd rather die. <laughs> Let me, let me come back to Jerry. Let me, let, let me, let me, if you will, please, come back to Jerry. Now, picture this, Jerry, with, with me, if you will, please. You're alone with your lover on a Polynesian island of paradise. The ocean, the sky, the sun, perhaps a beautiful little breeze. And you're standing there. All of a sudden, you get this pain in your shoulder. All right? It runs down your arm, into your fingers. Crushing, crushing pain in your chest. You drop, you drop down. What the hell's the chick gonna do that's whipping your head off and freeze it? Well, you wouldn't want to cut the head off before you prepared the body. That's what the, that's what the support team. Maybe she prepared the body the night before. Excuse me. Maybe she prepared the body the night before. Well, you, what's you, she gonna do? If man? you put these chemicals in your body, you would you would lose consciousness if you were alive. Oh, right. you, you know we're something, we're, 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 if you're dead, you're dead anyway. Basically, Basically, yeah. Don't you believe in cutting the head off and I'm, freezing that? I personally... I'm, I'm basically... You? I'm basically signed up... Let me up. hear the little guy. He starts saying... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, I got something to say. Cheer for the little guy. Yo. Zip it up. Okay, babe, stand up and talk. But the, the reason the reason okay the reason why I'm signed up to be suspended is what is the other alternative? Simple. Did you sign up for the whole body to be suspended? Yes, just, your head? just the whole body. Huh? The, the whole, whole body. body. Who signed up to just have their head done? You? You signed have your head done? You. Uh, let me ask you a question. How much does it cost you for your head to be frozen? $35,000. $35,000 for the head, $150,000 for the body. It's $100,000 for the Are there any uh, special parts of my body I can get frozen for 15 bucks? Hey, how long can the human body really live? We're going to ask these gentlemen that question in just a moment. Stand back. Finally, equal treatment for hands and nails. Now there's Vaseline Intensive Care Hand and Nail Formula Lotion. 
to soften rough, dry hands and help strengthen nails. With moisturizers for your hands and keratin, the protein found in healthy nails. Hand and nail formula from the makers of Vaseline Intensive Care. Because we believe in equal treatment for hands and nails. Don't use plain petroleum jelly. But my lips are really dry and cracked. Use Blistex ointment. I found it's better. Isn't Blistex for cold sores? Blistex also helps heal dry, cracked lips. Blistex has three forms of medication. Hey, petroleum jelly doesn't. Petroleum jelly coats, but Blistex penetrates for faster relief of dryness and stimulates healing. Only Blistex has this lip tip. Penetrates, medicates, new lip tip. Blistex is better. Attention! WFO declares war. Wall Furniture Outlets declares war on the competition with the guaranteed lowest prices on every wall unit, every bookcase, and every entertainment center. We will not be undersold because WFO has the largest selection in the tri-state area. So buy with confidence. Wall Furniture Outlets. We make the most of your wall. Look for our newest locations on the Post Road in Norwalk, Connecticut, and Sunrise Highway, Patchogue, Long Island. If you own a home, check out Statewide Capital. We'll be glad to show you how to get a personalized, custom-tailored home equity loan that meets your special needs at excellent rates that are fixed for up to 15 years with fast approvals and no prepayment penalties. Borrow $10,000 to $250,000 or more. Simply call our toll-free number, 1-800-D-I-A-L-C-A-S-H. That's 1-800-DIAL-CASH. Hello, Statewide Capital. General Washington! Supplies are low. Morale is terrible. I don't know how much longer the men can take this ordeal. Did somebody say deal? Save big now during the Dodge President's Week celebration. Get a D250 as low as 10272. Save a bundle on select Dakotas. Even more on Ram Chargers. Before your best President's Week deal. Hurry, this sale ends February 25th. Wait. I say we say nothing of this. Deal. Did somebody say deal? You wouldn't lie to me now, would you, George? <laughs> Let me ask, let me ask Philip, Philip, let me ask you a question. How long can a human being live and what are you doing to prolong life? I quit smoking, which I think you should do, Mort. We'd like to keep you around as... All of them. I'd like to keep you around for as many years... I want to keep you around. I love your show. Okay. And uh, here comes the I, I take and throw life extension mix. Life extension mix. Does it extend anything else? Yes, yes it does. It does actually. In research, they research. Let's listen to the they research. They said this to lab rats, and it tacked on life to their lifespan. Tacked on? You spoke to the rats, and you knew how long they lived. <laughs> they did research in some university labs. All right, now. You eat a lot of meat? I used to. I you don't anymore. No. You I also don't to smoke. smoke. I quit. You drink? I used to. I stopped. You used to. You stopped. How old are you? Twenty-four. How old are you really? Twenty-four. You're twenty-four? Yes. Hey pal, I smoke like a chimney. I drink booze. I eat raw meat. All right. So did I. I have before. sex on a regular and so basis. Did I. <laughs> So you're, oh. 20, you're 24, I'm 55, and I look a hell of a lot better than you do. <laughs> this did that a to ask you. Ask me how old I am. Yo, ask me how old I am. Overrating. Obesity. Yeah. No. No. Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. There's a misconception what. about cryonics. I'll take it. I'll see how I feel at the end of this $315. One a day? Right. Give it a month. Give it one month. Give it one month. Give it one month. I won't. I won't have hemorrhoids or anything, right? Give it one. No, it's not. It's not guaranteeing you that. It's, it's all it is saying is it is extended research. They've extended research. They've done with Gordon. rats. They've Gordon. had it about a year to two. You can extend your. You can extend your life all you want, but I'll tell you something right now. 
There's nobody older than somebody who's going to die the next day. I deal with people who contact me day in and day out uh, uh, from all over the country, people who were sick, people, a fellow who has diabetes, and uh, it's no joke to him. It's, it's an incurable disease. Doctor, he's, he's have you studied this potion? Oh, I would like to see that. Doctor, have you studied this potion? Yes. yes. Let me ask you. Wait a second, please. Please, let's hear I'd like to read that label. Yeah, this copy. is a medical man. I want to know let if he's studied Let me answer your question seriously. Uh, life expectancy for an American has risen since 1900 from 47 to 75 years of age. Mm -hmm. This remarkable. For an American male. An American white male. American, period. No, American white male, sir. This, this Black ex male, extraordinary still. progress is due to hard-working, open-minded scientists that wasted hours, years of their lives trying to make breakthroughs in the scientific field. The problem that I see is that 13, 40 years ago, we were dealing with diseases such as polio, tuberculosis, malaria. We have won. Those diseases are history. Now well, we won them while the people is, were alive. No, we didn't is because I wait, had a friend. Wait a second. I'm sorry, I have to jump medicine in here. Is wait a second. Oh. Medicine <laughs> is changing. <laughs> medicine is changing. Medicine is changing and very rapidly so. The prog today's researchers are, fo are focusing on heart disease, on AIDS, on osteoporosis. The problem is that the best minds are concentrating on the problems of today rather than the challenges of the future. Cryonics is the only medical science that potentially, and I say potentially, could solve all the diseases mankind will ever face. Well, let me go to Father, all right? We have Father James with us. Father, what about the morality of bringing back someone who has been medically declared dead 200 years later? I mean, I'm of uh, the faith that believes I have a soul. I believe that when I die, my soul goes to heaven or hell. Most of my critics believe hell. Uh, what about the morality of that? Well, I think the morality would uh, morality would depend really on whether or not the body was really dead. Because once the body is dead, there's no possibility of bringing back life again. So is However, that a cop-out, Father? No, because if the body is... Uh, the soul hasn't left the body. It might be in a state of... Well, if I'm dead, if I'm while. medically dead, and he fills my veins with glucose and all that other stuff, I'm not bringing any oxygen to the brain. I have no way of really being alive, all right, medically. Will the church accept the fact that I am dead then? And if indeed I am dead, what happens if in 50 years he is able to bring me back to life? Where is my soul? Well, if all of those things would be true, and I'm not saying they would be, the soul would then be returning to the body, as happens in uh, a case where somebody appears to be dead on the operating table, has the resuscitation or the coat stat, and when they come back, they've often told of Seeing sort of we have, yeah, we going have down a tunnel and such, and then way. suddenly they come back. Yeah. So the Catholic Church and... Fifty years is a long right. walk through a tunnel. Right. No, but most of the um, Catholic Church and most of the Christian churches will teach that the soul and the body are created by God, immortal, the soul, and attached to one body. No reincarnation, no changes or anything. So if one is to bring back the body after 50 years, then we'd have to say that same soul would come back. Right, now you we, we don't have information have, about yeah. our soul today. Can you tell me where is your soul? Okay, oh, hold on. Uh, no, no. I tell you, we, we have no argument. With, we, 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 this this is typical of scientists, sir. No, yes, we have, we have clients who, who are Catholics what? who are frozen now. And, and we, we, are being accused, we are being accused of playing God, sort of trying to tamper with the rules of nature. We are not playing God. So does every other doctor in a hospital while performing surgery or curing a disease by medication not given to us by God, but discovered by hard-working scientists. Let me talk with Dr. Robert for just a second. Doctor, you've had a chance to yes, examine sir. the ingredients of this life-extending yep. mixture. Those are antioxidants, <laughs> please, please, sir. Please, let's hear what's in here. I'm going to be vitamin taking this. Vitamin A, vitamin B group, folate, biotin, vitamin C. Ascorbyl piatin, some calcium salts, some magnesium salts, some vitamin D, some amino acids. These are all perfect things. They're perfectly harmless. You can get them over the counter in any drugstore, but they don't extend life. Choline, phosphatidylcholine, uh, inositol, that's useless. Uh, coenzyme Q10. Freeze-dried cabbage concentrate. That's bored.
That's it. That's force. That's it. Absolutely. Force. That's it. You did it. Next, are we ready for the return of Walt Disney? What is this, a sick joke with you, jerks? What do you got, a sell or a sale? Well, we're giving away cherry pies with every purchase. Oh, look. what about you, Auto Land? We're having your annual real president sale, Mort. That's more like that. You got a car last year, what'd you say? Savings isn't an issue, service and selection is. We've got 449 financing, Mort. A real sale, not phony. <laughs> On the spot, finance and immediate delivery. 1 800 Auto Land, the price is right now. This is it. The holiday sale you've all been waiting for. See Siemens first. Siemens' most exciting Washington's birthday sale ever is now in full swing. Get incredible savings in every department on the beautiful furniture you need. Living room packages, dining sets, bedrooms, bedding and accessories. Dramatically reduced now through Washington's birthday at all Siemens locations. In New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania and Connecticut. For the price that's always right. See Siemens first. In just 15 years, according to the Miami Herald, Florida will be one of our most populated states. So now is an excellent time to buy a home site with a small down payment and easy terms. The Citrus Springs community of Deltona Corporation offers you an exciting and affordable lifestyle. There's tennis, boating, and much more. Choice lots are available. So if you're planning a future in Florida, purchase a quarter acre home site right now. So call right now and take your first step to a whole new lifestyle in the sunshine. When you go to the bank for a home equity loan, do you ever get the feeling they're trying to tell you something? Once you get the message, call Statewide Capital. We'll get you money easily and quickly, even if you've been turned down by the bank. Use the equity in your home to get a home equity loan from $10,000 to $250,000 or more. No lines, no forms, and fast approvals. Statewide Capital gets you money easily. Call 1-800-DIAL-CASH. 1-800-DIAL-CASH. It happens once a year. Come on down to the Greater Northeast Recreational Vehicle Camping and Equipment Show, February 16th to the 20th, indoors at Rockland Community College in Suffern. Come see a huge display of the new 1989 full-size motorhomes, vans, pop-up campers, fifth wheels, mini homes, and pull trailers. It's 90,000 square feet of RVs all under one roof. Come one, come all to the 15th annual Greater Northeast Recreational Vehicle Show at Rockland Community College. Don't miss it. All right. Now let me please, let me please come back to Dr. Abby Ben Abraham. Dr. Abraham, I'm going to call for, on our monitors so the folks at home and in our studio audience can see, the process of cryonics and preparing a body, etc., etc. What you see there on a screen is a body being uh, of a patient that has clinically died, uh, brought to a facility in Oakland, California, trans time. And there is a team of uh, surgeons and medical experts that are chilling the body gradually from its temperature to minus 320 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, I've explained this process earlier, but the, the concept is draining the blood, substituting it with uh, uh, blood substitute containing antifreeze, such as glucose, glucose or glycerol, and then chilling, chilling, uh, chilling the body and freezing it in liquid uh, nitrogen. The patient is placed in a capsule, and uh, at that temperature, it's above it's 77 degrees above the absolute zero, which is the coldest temperature that we can uh, achieve, and there is no molecular motion. The person is dead, and there is no aging process. Whenever we come back to that body, we will find it in the same conditions. Uh, aging that would normally take one second at, at these temperatures would take 30 trillion years at liquid nitrogen. I like uh, this. Uh, 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 please, please, please. The alternative, please. Let me go the way I want to go, all right? I want to ask you, doctor, have you ever done a successful reanimation? Who and where? Uh, clearly, we haven't done so with a human being. And I'm not have here... You, wait a second. Have you ever done it with an animal? Yes. You see, I am not here telling you that this is a miracle. I'm just telling you to be confident in the progress of science. We have done in our uh, laboratory, my esteemed colleagues, Dr. Siegel and Sternberg, uh, have 
frozen, uh, chilled rather, to the ice point, animals such as hamsters and dogs. In fact, we have a picture of the dog, if you can show it here. Uh, that dog was uh, at zero degrees for 70 uh, minutes. The, the uh, blood was substituted with cold protecting uh, chemicals and he was clinically dead. This dog had no heartbeat, no respiration, no brain waves, no circulation for 70 minutes. He was totally clinically dead. And then we revived that dog, and he's been a very healthy and happy dog since then. Appeared on the Phil Donahue show and behaved like a perfectly normal dog. We have upscaled that technology to four and a half hours. We revived the dog after four and a half hours of being clinically dead, and we are going to be experimenting on monkeys next month. If we are successful in chilling a monkey and bringing it back to life, it might have medical implications because of the similar anatomic and physiological structure of a monkey to that of the human being. All right, let me go to Philip again. Philip, I've got to come back to you because... I know you want to give your whole body to freezing. Right. I know uh, your dad is already dead. Right? Yes. So you can't help him. He's buried. How about your mom? Is she still alive? <laughs> yes, she is. Have you made any arrangements to help your mom? Uh, she refuses. She doesn't want to come back. She says one life is a love for her. So I, I feel, I feel. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, as a good son who loves his as mom. As a good son, I may just be tempted. However, most chronics organizations will not allow a sign up unless that person is fully aware of it. However, if I have power of attorney, I'm going to go for it. Going to cut her head off? No. Whole body. You're going to go with the whole body? I would go whole body. I would go whole body. What happens? I mean, cause you're the guy who wants to have his head taken off, all right? What do they attach your head to when they find something? What do they attach your head to? His body? Actually, the part... Please, come on in. Actually, Can the I jump process in here? is being done right now, and I yeah, have the, yeah. a book over oh, there. Yeah. I think there's, okay, a, where is the green there's a mass misconception about people in chronics. We don't want to be frozen. I don't want to be frozen. I don't want to have a car accident and have to be frozen. I wear my seatbelt. I take vitamins. I exercise. I want to live. I love life. Okay. You know, we're not Frankenstein people. All right, well, go ahead. You know? What's there? You don't and, want to be frozen. Uh, no, I, I, I don't want to have to be frozen unless I need it. You know, I mean, it's, it's a backup. I mean, we want to live long. You know, it's, uh, if you believe so in, in so soul and all that stuff. If you could get 200 years out of your life, you'd say the hell with the cryonics? No, I, I want a million years. I want a billion years. And I didn't believe in it. There's another thing. You know, it's, it's hard to explain how this stuff works. I was given this book by this gentleman here, my friend Doug Platt. I'm Jeff Philly. Uh, anyway, you've got to read this book. I'm telling you, if you read this book, you'll understand how they're going to do it. Right now in Japan... They're working on this technology. They're down to the molecular level. They're, they're putting atoms together to make custom-made machines that will go and repair all the cells in your body. Uh, you know, stuff that well, we can't foresee. I believe that those things, I believe those things so are very how proper. Can you, I believe those things are very like possible. The, uh, in the, case any of you are interested, the folks, the name of the book is Engines of Creation, the Coming Era of Nanotechnology, and that sounds riveting to me. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Eric Drexler. You're a good man. I love it. Um, I believe that you should die with dignity. Um, you're on this earth, you live a happy life, you have kids and you want to die. Um, you're on this earth, you live a miserable life, you have you kids and you want to die. You just, you're wait a second, hospital, Eric. Would you if take I have a cure, sir, would you say, sir, wait a second. Sir, sir. You know, and I really believe that, um, if you, it's guys like you that make me sick. Yeah. You know, no, seriously. If you concentrated on the problems with drugs, alcohol, and going on today, that's your Not choice. Not a hundred years from now, who that cares? Is your There's going to be disease and death. Now, and one other I thing. Wait a second. Now, wait a minute, shorty. If I ever... Wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One more thing. If I ever quit... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I ever quit... Wait a second. If I ever quit... If I ever caught any of you around my house selling my mother insurance or talking pineapples, I'd kick his all in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to sell. It's the people who really know what they're talking about. The audience, next. Come on. Like a Mercury. For 50 years, Mercury has been moving America. To celebrate, your Lincoln Mercury dealer has a totally new Mercury Cougar XR7 to move you. Or move into Mercury Tracer and get $750 cash back. Mercury, yeah, yeah. See your Lincoln Mercury dealer during Washington's birthday week. Don't miss out. Don't miss Levitt's giant Washington's birthday weekend sale with hundreds of exciting bargains. It's the one furniture sale you just can't afford to miss. Hurry, it all ends Monday night. Feeling good, getting tight, the sound of 
First rule of working out is showing up. Show up now and join for just $24 a month. Join Jack LaLanne now. The Wiz is having its greatest Washington's birthday sale. The Wiz is having its greatest Lincoln's birthday sale. The Wiz is having its greatest presidential sale. I'm the Coronet Mother, and if you're in the market for cribs, strollers, high chairs, play pens, and toys, then Coronet's for you. At Coronet, we have two giant warehouses loaded with stock at Coronet's famous low, low discount prices. Coronet opens seven days a week where you get giant discounts for little people and no talking orangutans. Hey, Ma, what are you making for dinner? <laughs> Reservations. <laughs> Coronet, 1111 Old Country Road, Westbury. What is this, a sick joke with you jerks? What do you got, a sell or a sale? Well, we're giving away cherry pies with every purchase. Oh, look. what a box you are. President sale, Mort. That's more like that. We got a new car last year, Daddy. What'd you say? Twenty-three hundred dollars on a Chrysler, New Yorker. We've got four point nine pricing, Mort. A real sale, not phone. On the spot, financing immediate delivery. One eight hundred Auto Land. The price is right now. I am the descendant of two slaves brought to this country in the 1700s. The Freeman family played a role in the founding of Auburn, New York. During Black History Month, we appreciate the many African Americans who have contributed to our nation. But we must not be content until the story of African Americans is a regular part of American history. The celebration of our heritage should be more than just a 28-day event. Some of the guests of the Morton Downey Jr. Show stay at the Meadowlands Hilton Hotel. Now, let's get serious because I want to go to the audience in just a second. I do want uh, Dr. Avi Ben Abraham to explain <coughs> something. And on the serious side, let's try and remember this man is indeed a Nobel Prize nominee. Dr. Abraham, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, if you think cryonics is futuristic, I agree with you. However, it's only the tip of the iceberg in a broader discipline called life extension, which consists of such areas as interventive gerontology, trying to understand the aging process, why our cells age and eventually die. If one day we can slow the aging process or find out what is this process that eventually will kill all of us, we will have stopped uh, time. Artificial organs and transplantation, in which unbelievable progress has been made. Uh, regeneration and biological repair, which means uh, rebuilding dead cells, as well as the most fascinating field of cloning, growing whole organs and body parts from single cells, genetically identical could to you, our own. Could you grow the, the body parts or could you grow the entire body if you want? We could probably do both of them. In 1962, a scientist in the United Kingdom grew an entire frog using the intestinal cell, the nucleus of an intestinal cell in this technology called nuclear transplantation. But did the this frog eventually croak, sir? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> oh, of course. This is, this is, this is medicine of the future. Now we are approaching the year 2000. We have to be open-minded. Science must be daring and it must be innovative. I'm open-minded as long as we don't invade another human's body to keep another human alive or to create a more perfect human as I believe a guy by the name of Dr. Mengele's tried to do. Go ahead, sir. I just want to say to this guy right here, the body rubber looking guy, listen, if your mother's down the ground, that's where she should stay. There's no way you should like, be able to bring her back up and freeze her. That's up to her, all right, dude? That's all I got to say. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Dr. Abraham, I believe that once you die, that's the way you should be. We don't have enough food or enough anything really to keep everybody Excuse on this me, if you're in the hospital right. with cancer are you going to say we, don't cure me i i don't i don't want to have not the, enough on the i don't i don't want everybody alive forever Pardon me? Like let me go this let me go this street doctor over said doctor over said before that death of cells if they're oxygen deprived occurs what five or ten minutes everybody knows that five minutes how long does your uh, cooling process take three or four hours 
And what happens to a cell, Dr. Ober, after it's been oxygen deprived for three or four hours? Dead. What about children who fall in the lake? Dead. Dead. That's not true. That, 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 is, that, is, that is irrelevant, with all due respect. The opposition to cryonics is not intellectual or scientific. It is moral and ethical. If we don't if have the don't technology, hold on, hold on. If we that, don't have the technology yeah. today, if we don't have the knowledge today, we will have that well, knowledge in the future. We are pioneers in a, in a science a that is bound to succeed. Who appointed you my, God? Uh, my objections no. are not moral or ethical. I never raise moral or ethical objections to anything. Hey, hey, I think me. everybody can go to hell in his own way. But my objection is based on the fact that I do not think scientific science fiction is a legitimate art form. Yeah. Science fiction yeah, of Flair, today. Jordan was science fiction. Science, science, fiction. science fiction of today is the reality of tomorrow. In 1935, Flash Gordon was this science fiction. This is the fiction. audience segment, sir. You keep saying when I'm laying in bed and then I'll take the treatment. Who the hell is going to pay for it? You guys going to sell me an insurance policy when I'm dying of cancer in a hospital? Well, the idea. So that means only the, the rich can buy this. The idea is to get it beforehand. Uh, my, I have an older okay, brother who has a heart fired. condition who'd love to do this, but unfortunately, he's uninsurable. Now, how do you well, know by then, this? obviously you're uninsurable because you're going to die. Well, oh, you buy the insurance you, beforehand. Why would I buy it now? <laughs> because you're healthy and, and, and I'm going to pay for less. 20 years for something that isn't even proven yet. Well, and they've done it with a cat. What's your life worth, dog? Sir? What's your life worth? It's a, not it's an a insurance policy size. that doesn't guarantee well, me anything. That's right, it's priceless. Let me, let me hear this gentleman here. I think there's a mistaken conception here that uh, the people involved in cryonics want to sell it to people. We like people. We would like to convince our loved ones and friends that this is a good last chance uh, thing to go for. So but we don't want to sure sell it, it to people. Possible. We want to have the right to do it. There are some people in government and in uh, bureaucracies who are trying to deprive of deprive us of this right to do that. And I basically agree with that gentleman who mentioned that if his mother doesn't want to be frozen, she fine. Right, I defend everyone's right to rot. If they want to rot, that's great. On yeah. the same hand, I want the, the right to be frozen if I so choose. And I don't want to be. I love life. Right. I want to stay alive as long as possible. While we're waiting, while we're waiting to come back, would you turn down, the, turn down the heat in the audience? We'll be right back. when we salute three great American leaders, Lincoln, Washington, and Crazy Eddie. Crazy Eddie his sale prices are insane. What is this, a sick joke with you, church president? What do you got, a sell or a sale? Well, we're giving away cherry pies with every purchase. Oh, look. what about you, Auto Land? We're having your annual real president sale, Mort. That's more like that. You got yourself a car last year at Auto Land. How much you say? I said 1400 on my Camry. Oh! If you're really serious about your conversation, call 540-TALK, New York's best talk line. Call us now. We want to talk to you. If you're alone, we're here 24 hours a day. Not a party line, but a conversation. Anytime, day or night, we're waiting to share a special moment with you. There's always someone to talk to on 540-TALK. That's 540-8255. Just $3.45 per call. Not available in New Jersey. American Express has now made applying for the card as easy as picking up the phone. Hi, American Express. Yes, I'd like to apply for the card. Hi, American Express. Can I apply for the card right over the phone? Great. For those who qualify, the card comes with a world of privileges. American Express, I seem to have lost my wallet with all my cards. The privilege of having someone on Mr. call Carter, to help you. I can have a new card for you by tomorrow. 24 oh, hours a day. Be great. Privileges that extend the free repair period offered under most manufacturers' warranties. Privileges that give you an extra measure of financial flexibility. I'm glad we stayed an extra day. I'm glad we have the American Express card. Just call 1-800-235-4500. We'll take your application over the phone and start processing it right away. American Express, I'd like to apply for membership. Membership has its privileges. So call 1-800-235-4500 now. March is just around the corner. Can the Mets be far behind? Get ready for 82 exciting games on free television. The Mets and Channel 9 together for 27 seasons. All right. 
Okay. I want to go into the audience for just a minute. I want to go to Nico Kane. Nico is Governor Tom Kane's nephew. How's I'm the just, governor stand on this? Uh, I don't know. How do you I'm stand? I'm not speaking on? for him. Well, I have a question. I just want to know about uh, some stand more specifics. Up, please, some more spe specifics about uh, related research and uh, whether or not uh, benefits such as he was talking about the disease of aging. Mm -hmm. Exactly what does that mean? Are you treating it like a sickness, like leukemia or AIDS or something like that? I think that the oldest and most permanent killer of all times has been the disease of aging. It's about time that we try to understand what happens to ourselves and why we eventually die. We, we, we have to treat it as a disease. Let uh, me also remind the audience that... In other words, life is a disease. Life is a disease. Mm -hmm. Right now we can freeze almost all biological tissues, sperm, corneas, blood components, skin, teeth, and other biological tissues can be frozen to liquid nitrogen temperatures and survive the process. All right, sir, quickly, you. Yeah, yeah I'll tell you what, more. When I, when I first walked in here today, I thought it was kind of a morbid subject. But I'll tell you, I think it's just through ignorance. It's not a bad idea for someone who may want to live or for those who are dying currently of something like a cancer or an AIDS and maybe have some hope that they want to come back. I, I concur with the point that they said, well, if your mother doesn't want to come back, I know my mother wouldn't want to be here if I wasn't here or the rest of my family. Okay, but I applaud you, Dr. Abraham. It takes a lot of guts to sit up here and say something. These people have never heard of it before. I never heard of it before. I can right. I'm not, uh, I'm not altogether... I'm not altogether sure I'd ever have the dough to invest 150000 bucks. I suppose while I'm healthy, I could buy the insurance policy. Honestly right. speaking, this whole issue of money is irrelevant. If many people sign up, the cost will dramatically go down. And then I would like to see the day that the government will pay for this process no, no, as part no. of the medical health uh, process. Well, I'd like, to see the, I'd like to see the day when we could extend the life and the quality of life of all the people in this audience and all the people in this country through the type of research you're doing. Maybe you can't bring me back to life, but maybe you can let my life be a lot better while I'm here. While the ultimate goal is freezing the body uh, and bring it back to life, we're doing tremendous progress in treating cancer patients uh, and, and in freezing organs and uh, bloodless surgery. There, is, there are a lot of medical benefits to this uh, research. Well, I want to come back so I can be with this audience again. <laughs>